Testing, testing, hello. Uh, oh, nothing crashed. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you tonight about snow. <laughs> Oh, I am going to give away a book at the end of uh, my talk. Um, it's all about unclogging your internet tubes. <laughs> all right, and now Rob Flickinger. Hi, everybody. My name is Rob Flickinger. I am uh, the founder of Hacker Friendly LLC. It's a local publishing company. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about lightning fast publishing, how to go from an idea to a printed book in 90 days, but only, since I only have 15 seconds, make books fast. <laughs> I did that in under 15 seconds. That's awesome. This is a map that represents the availability of internet connectivity all over the world. Um, low countries have very limited internet connectivity. Here's a question. If you want to tell people how to improve their internet connectivity, how do you do it in these countries? You can't exactly do it with a network. One way is with a book. The problem with books, technical books are notoriously difficult to produce. Geeks are bad at documenting their own work. Very few engineers are writers. Technology often changes, almost always changes faster than publishers can keep up with. The average turnaround time on a book is a year or more to develop a book. It's incredible. So we have invented this thing called the Book Sprint. It's a very rapid book development process. It's useful for technical books, any kind of book that has factual information in it. Um, it. We can produce a high quality 300 page printed book from idea to print in three months. Obviously, to do that, you need a good team of people. Um, this is the team that worked on the book that I'm going to give away. Um, most of these people are from Africa, um, India, uh, excuse me, uh, Italy, and the UK. Um, we met in uh, Trieste uh, earlier this year to, to uh, work on this book. To do a book sprint, you need a really solid team. You need at least, you, well, you need exactly one project manager who sees the whole thing through. You need a very small core team, more than six people. It doesn't really work very well. Uh, contributors and third parties, people who actually write the content uh, and get it all together, and then support members who turn it into a book. This is a, a photo from our first book sprint uh, uh, attempt uh, back in October. This is in London at the, uh, the WISFI um, uh, World Summit uh, on Free Information Infrastructures. Uh, we did a book on wireless networking there, and this is us working on the book. Uh, so, after you decide who's going to be on your team, you get a face-to-face -face meeting together. You cannot do this whole process online. It doesn't work, believe me. Uh, it's much more intense than you can do online, having people in, this, in the same room. You establish the scope of the project, assign roles, figure out who's going to do what, and you build a team that lasts throughout the entire session. This is just filler so I can keep on talking. You, you see I'm gesticulating wildly here and trying to talk very quickly. This is a, a lot like what a book development process is like. You know, We have a big board, people are throwing ideas around, we have headings, we move things around, but at the end of it we have a, a, a solid outline, a scope. We know exactly what's going to go in the book and what isn't. Then we go back and we work on a wiki. Wikis are incredible for, for, for doing uh, technical book development because they're always available. Nobody has different, uh, you know, conflicting versions of Word and OpenOffice. Uh, fantastic revision control because you know exactly who did what and when. Uh, then, after the book is finished, we use a print-on-demand service. Here are just a couple that we can use, that we have used. Um, to give you an idea of cost, 300-page black and white book, $10, quantity one. Technology is incredible now. Turnaround time is one day to one week. Uh, distribution, uh, we do online. You can sell onesie twosies via Lulu. You can do short print runs, print a couple hundred books instead of several thousand books in order to get your message out. Um, since uh, the, these books that I'm telling you about were NGO sponsored, we also released them online. The, free, the PDF is free to download, no DRM. Um, all of the work was uh, sponsored by, by NGOs. So successful book sprints. The very first one we did was called Wireless Networking in the Developing World. Core team of seven people. We met in October 2005 in London. Now there are two translations of the book out, uh, one in uh, Spanish and the French edition is going to be released on Monday. Um, the outline to printed book time was three months. So yes, three months. Um, over 100,000 people have downloaded our PDF in the first year. We were incredibly surprised and pleased. 3,000 downloads of the Spanish edition happened on the first day. There's so much demand for this information, it's incredible. Um, more than 1,000 copies so far have sold through Lulu.com. The book that I'm going to give away is called How to Accelerate Your Internet. I wanted to call it How to Unclog Your Internet Tubes, but I, it wasn't my decision. Um, we had a core team of 10 people. This took a little longer. We had a bigger budget. There were more people involved. Uh, we ended up with a much better book, I think. Um, uh, this is a really solid book. Um, we so far, uh, we released it in October. We've sold 500 copies so far. We had another thousand printed in India and are being distributed all throughout uh, Africa and uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, and there have been thousands of PDF downloads so far. Uh, we're very excited about it. Uh, 
pod, the pod revolution. Pod completely changes the economics of publishing. Instead of having to do an initial print run and put up $50,000 and hope and pray that people are going to buy your book, you can do short runs. You can sell them direct. Uh, the quality is exceptional. It looks like any, bought you, any book you've ever bought, bought on Amazon. It's all digital press. Um, Bob Young, uh, who founded Lulu.com, he did it after he was frustrated by uh, having uh, 50,000 copies of his book go out and getting $2,000 in royalties. Well, where did all of the money go? It went into the distribution chain because it's so expensive to produce books. Uh, I completely missed that slide. That was great. Um, with uh, pod marketing and the internet, creators earn a much larger share of the work that they do because it goes, instead of going into the distribution channel, it goes straight back to the people who make the books. Projects never need to go out of print. Uh, uh, we're going to start seeing a pod rolling out in the New York City Public Library soon where you can get any book that's ever been made. Uh, you, 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 you order it and the next day it shows up brand new, minted. So anyway, that's all I have. Um, thank you very much.